Hello, today's Bible study comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27, which will end the chapter, and it reads as follows. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the game goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Therefore, I do not run like someone running aimlessly. I do not fight like a boxer beating the air. No, I strike a blow to my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself would not be disqualified for the prize. Now we got Paul here talking about self-discipline and the attitude of an athlete. And I like that. I run, I fight. And back in that time, they were big, you know, back in that time, especially to the Greeks, the Corinthians. Um, and if you remember, even our Olympics start from that area. So even when they did these things there, um, this was a place of athletic prowess and talents and abilities. And Paul is making this something that they can be aware of. Um, as he tells him, um, and he says the runners and, and what he's really saying is the athletes. And he says, they run in such a way that you may obtain it. Paul is saying, work out and train like an athlete does that wants to win this thing. You don't train not to win, you train to win. And he says, if you don't, if there's no effort in this trying to win, just like if you don't put an effort into doing sports, nothing can be won in the sporting event. So nothing can be won in this situation. Everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. He says you got to be temperate. And he's talking about the way that they were going to train before being even allowed to participate in the games. And what he's saying is, say you're a boxer. There were things that we used to have to do before we boxed. There, and we had to abstain from sex. There were certain diets that we had to have. There are certain ways that we had to train, and there are certain things that we couldn't do that would harm us. And he's saying, okay, you got to do these things. You got to get ready and in shape for this. And he says, because having them may stop doing them, not doing them may stop you from your goal. What is your goal? The crown. The reward of heavenly glory. He says, you may think that you don't need to get in shape for this, but you need to. And you're trying to win a crown, a victory. And then he goes into saying, I discipline my body. Paul is saying, I give in to my body being a slave. And Paul says his body is the servant here. And when he says his body, he means the flesh, his inner body, his spirit. His spirit was the master of his body. See, he, he said, I'm not going to lose to the flesh. I'm going to win with the spirit. And he goes on to say, bring it into subjection. We got to bring it into subjection. And, and Paul's not saying, okay, my body is evil. I'm not saying that. Because he knew and told us earlier that it belongs to Jesus. But, what he was saying is, I can't give in to the weakness of my flesh. I need to prepare myself. 
there there's no reason for me not training to be ready. Because all sin was paid for. I just have to stay in shape not to get weak in sin. I should be working on becoming better. And I don't need these tortures of olden days and all of that because no matter what you do to your physical body, it's already been paid for. The sins have been paid for too. Less when I preach to others. And, and Paul is saying, hey, I talk of the game. I'm the one that speaks of the game. I'm the one that's telling you about how the game is played. But he doesn't leave out the fact that he is also in the game. And he says, and with that being said, I follow the same rules and guidelines as you do. And then he, he cleans it up and tells you more because he says, lest I myself should become disqualified. So he has an obligation not only to tell us the rules as he's telling us, but he is in the game. And when he when he speaks of him being disqualified, it's not losing salvation or anything like that. But the reward, yeah, he could lose that. He, Paul, he could say that he might be rejected by Jesus. And in order for him not to have that happen, Paul said, he was going to run. He was going to fight. He was going to deny himself. And that's why his body was brought under subject. And his spirit was controlled by Christ. Amen.